Hey everyone and welcome back. Today is a new tutorial. I will show to you how to create a quick lens flare effect in Adobe Illustrator. So, let's get started. Here are some examples of lens flare which you could make using the elements of uh, which the lens flare is consist. I basically broke down the structure of lens flare. Like this, when you combine these elements together, every time you can actually change your lens layer and create a completely new one. So here are the examples. And basically we are going to make this lens flare combining all these four elements, types of elements together, rays and gradients, and create this uh, nice and beautiful shiny lens flare. So let's get started and make our first element. If you don't know how to make checkered background, you can go to my previous tutorial. And we start off ellipse tool and creating mesh by clicking in the middle. Then I want to make something like this, a little bit rounded. Move pivot points this way. So it looks a little bit like circle. I find that like this the light looks better on this specific element as I want it to be a bit more uh, less sharp looking, a little bit more rounded. Okay, this way. Then select all of it and choose black color. And we go to blending mode. And choosing screen like this it's nicely blend with a black color but now we have to select this anchor point and make it a little bit brighter i decide to make it in a orange color later on we can adjust it better at the beginning it's a bit more difficult to gauge and understand which color you have to choose but with a uh, tries and arrow, we can uh, see what fits better. And in the end, we will furthermore adjust it. So I, I'm trying to choose this anchor points. It's a bit too difficult to choose the anchor points here, so I was using um, Q on my keyboard to use lasso. Now I made it a bit smaller, lowered opacity, and uh, in layers I just hold all and drag it up to make a copy of it. Okay, and now the, there are two of them, These are two elements. I make the upper one a bit smaller. Select the bigger one and make a copy of it. Then move it this so to create X. Here we go. So basically first element would look something like this. Um, we can group it and uh, later on we can adjust it. So at the beginning it's fine to let it be like this and after we will come back to it uh, in the future. Second element is going to be this bluish rays. So again we are taking ellipse tool, creating mesh out of it and here we just make points in these places. This so. So this ray should be a bit smaller, a bit more elongated. And again everything to black. And screen blending mode we have to choose. For this element, element I'm choosing, choosing more, more bluish, bluish azure, azure colors. colors. Opposite, Opposite the, the first, first one, one uh, had to be some, some yellowish orange. orange. This, this one is one more bluish. bluish. Okay, and I put it in the center, like this. Creating again a copy of it and making it smaller, like so. Okay. Then uh, I make a copy of two of these elements and rotate it almost uh, 90 degrees. And making again a copy of a small one because I want it to be a bit more, a bit brighter. And I need more rays instead of the previous one, just two. We're going to make more, more of them. Thanks. 
I think these two points should be a bit this way, a bit brighter, as I couldn't see it. Here is better. Again, copy of it and make it smaller. So always there is a longer ray, and after the copy of it and smaller ray, like this to the middle, we are making it brighter. Again, copy of these two rays, rotating a little bit. They shouldn't be very symmetric, so one ray could be closer to another one, uh, a little bit more organic, less so, um, symmetrical. Again, I'm making copy, making one more set of rays, making it brighter in the middle. Once more time, and longer. Again, I'm making copy of it and uh, making it smaller like this, it would be even brighter. So you need to make uh, quite a few of these longer needle-like rays and they should not be so saturated, so the saturation should be a bit more down, maybe maybe even less bluish than now, a bit more on a wider side. On a, uh, brighter scale, let's say. Some of them I want already to group, for example, like this too, as it's becoming too many layers and uh, I need the place to be a bit more organized. <laughs> okay, so there are some, some rays that they, are, they have less opacity and some more, like this, we create sense of um, dynamic instead of all of them being the same mm, the same opacity so choose few brighter ones and others they go less op less opacity less opacity less opacity like this it will have nice effect, effect. nice, nice shiny effect. effect and basically uh, these two sets of rays they are done and now it's just time to adjust it depending on your preferences and how you want it to look like I'm adjusting a little bit my first set of uh, orange rays, uh, creating, making it a little bit brighter in the, in middle. the middle. I put down saturation a little bit because I find it too too bright. Uh, the second set of rays. You can do the same, or you can you can even choose other colors because lens flares they can be any possible colors, and you can just play with the settings. Okay, now we're starting to make another element, this radial gradient. We take a circle, make a circle, go to transparency and choose color dodge. And in gradient, we choose radial gradient. So to make, for example, this uh, red element, we have to choose a black color. In the end, this reddish color as a rim. And 
and another black color in the middle. So basically all these elements will go along diagonal line all together, smaller, bigger, and I will choose sometimes uh, these three colors, so make a small rim, or just two colors to make it uh, look a little bit different. This second element is a bit the opaque uh, looking like gradient, so now I'm going to make it. We've created basically a third pack of um, lens flare elements with these gradients. You can play with them and uh, make your own decisions on which colors to use and how to combine them. Then the fourth one and the final is making these uh, little bright dots along the line. So I'm choosing again ellipse tool, gradient, uh, and uh, making the brightest point in the middle, then black on the outside, a little bit less saturated, and opacity, uh, lower opacity. Again, playing with the screen mode, or transparency modes. In the middle, um, use color dodge, it will be brighter and it will help you to make this uh, very bright sun effect So I drag it a little bit bigger. Here's smaller, like a dot, bright dot effect.
again coming back to previous rays and uh, moving them a little bit, making saturation and the uh, opacity less. Now it's up to you how your lens flare is going to look, since you, we made all the elements. Now it's the matter of combining them together and as you saw at the beginning there could be different results achieved. It depends on your creativity and your taste, which one you like and how you like it to look like. And here basically we created a lens flare. As a reminder, I will show to you these four elements. And that's it, a quick lens flare effect is ready. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more quick design tips. Thank you for watching.